Welcome, and thank you for joining us today. I am Diana Borges, a transformative energy life coach and an energy healer. We're here today to do a second experiment to evaluate the effectiveness of heart access healing. During this experiment, we are not only going to collect blood samples before and after the session and look at them under a microscope from the person who is actually receiving the session, but we're also going to do it on myself as the healer and on another person that is in the room as the observer. Heart access is a healing modality, energetic form that I created with help from the divine and the universe. It's a method that allows one to go into their own heart to release, shift beliefs on a cellular and subconscious level and download from the divine, the universe, that which is most appropriate for them. In other words, it's a way for you to reconnect to your heart and your soul to understand your truth and how powerful that you really are. Um, for more information about heart access, you can go to my website, BorgesExperience.com, and on that website is also the results from the first experiment. Let's get started. When I do heart access on an individual, I use weighted tuning forks on the body to help modulate the energy and, and kind of help prepare the body to receive and to release. I am using a 54.81 and a 62.64 hertz weighted tuning fork. Starting at the belly area, I allow the vibrations of the forks to travel into and through the body, helping break up energetic blockages, harmonize the energy, and bring the body into a parasympathetic state, out of the fight or flight state and into relaxation where the body can heal itself. I intuitively place the forks on the body, not necessarily on any energetic meridian, but based on what I feel in my body that is going on in the client's body, and then also with information that I receive from the divine. And here I am switching from the two weighted forks to a 128 hertz weighted tuning fork. The reason that um, I switched is because I felt something in the chest that was a little thicker, denser that the two forks were not actually um, addressing properly. The 128 hertz frequency is a little deeper and it breaks through the area. Our throats generally represent speaking, not being heard, or not speaking our truth when we have blockages there. But I find that there's actually a much deeper level associated with the throat, and that's not knowing or acknowledging our truth. So we can't actually speak our truth if we don't even know our truth to ourselves. The two forks on the brain are excellent in helping calm down the vibrations of the brain, that busyness, the voices in our head that many of us have. When the vibrations of the forks run out completely, drain into the brain, that helps calm the thought process.
At the end of this video, we will show you the results of the blood samples we collected and also of HeartMath's interbalance device. Because the observer's results were inconclusive, that will not be shown. We will first show you the results of the client's blood samples, and then my blood samples, and then eventually at the end, uh, heart mounts and balance data. Right now I am connecting the top of the head to the sacral chakra, which is near the belly button. And I run energy through the entire body, so from the head to the feet, but connecting it with the sacral area in the middle. Now that the energy has been ran from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet, I connect the hands, the palms of the hands to the heart so that the hands know to come from the heart. The left hand represents receiving and the right hand represents giving. We will next go into the heart access journey and portion of the session. I want you to start settling into your body. Begin by taking some deep breaths. And feel your lungs expand from the bottom up. Feel your physical heart within your chest. Feel the beating of your heart. Feel the blood as it pulses from your heart through your body. Feel the warmth of the blood. We're going to go to a different level beyond the physical. To a place where you can see a door that leads to your heart. And I invite you to go there now. Mm -hmm. 
know this is a safe place because it's your own heart. It's always been there for you and it always will be. I invite you to open the door into your heart and step inside. Inside your own heart. I look around. Take note of what you hear, see, or feel. Now ask your heart what it wants you to know. Within your heart are more doors and windows. They lead to passages to your past. Passages that hold energies that don't serve your highest good. Passages that hold memories. Emotions that hold you back. Fear. Pain. I invite you to set the intent to release all those energies within the passages that are not for your highest good. To allow those energies to be released on the air as you exhale and down your body into earth. To step aside and watch as they are released You don't need to know the details. Just know these were never yours to hold on to. Because when we're our true self, our energetic soul, none of this is ours. Some of these stories were never even yours. It's time to let them all go. Okay, just keep it up. Some of the passages are a little longer. They take a little more time. Done in the front of the heart area. You don't need to keep these. They're old, old energies that they weren't even yours. Let them go. Let them go because it's time for you to step forward into your true self into your glory. There. You can feel the lightness starting.
and I invite you to allow the air as you inhale to flow into those passages, eroding the walls that hold any residual energies, and being released as you exhale, clearing even deeper. It's okay to release all of this. And as those passages clear, they begin to collapse. Sealing off the passages. Sealing off the openings in the heart and healing the heart. Feel the shift within the heart. There. We're going to go to the throat now and do the same thing. I invite you to set the intent to release everything that you're holding in the throat. Allow the air as it flows past the throat to erode the walls that hold those energies, memories, emotions. And flowing out as you exhale removing any constrictions around your throat, within the throat. Those things that didn't let you speak your truth. Now I invite you to release anywhere else in your body you may be holding that doesn't allow you to know to live your truth. Prevents you from moving forward on your evolutionary path. From knowing your true self. Allow those energies to be released on the air as you exhale and down to earth. Any limiting thoughts? Old programs, beliefs on your cellular level? subconscious level or anywhere else in your body. It's time to let it go. Because it's time for you to be who you are. To know your power. So release all those. Make space for downloading of what's most appropriate for you. There. Now feel your cells. Feel how 
how many there are, the excitement of them. And I invite you to download from the divine universe the programs, the energies that are most appropriate for your highest good and for your evolutionary path. Allow those energies to reside on your cells, replacing those old programs. Allow those energies, that strength and knowledge to be in your subconscious. Your consciousness and anywhere else that's appropriate. I invite you to put your awareness into the right side of your brain. Just feel that portion of the brain. Now move your awareness to the left side of your brain. Now move it to the back near the spine. And now to the front, in the area of your third eye. Now put your awareness in your entire brain. your total brain. And I invite you to make the most appropriate neurological connections for your highest good and for the path that you're on and for your purpose in this life. Feel the heart energy again. And the space that you've created within your heart. I invite you to fill it with unconditional love. with compassion, and with patience. For yourself, 
because it starts with each and every one of us. You are your own role model. You are a priority in your life. And when we have the unconditional love and compassion for ourselves, it genuinely overflows to others. And we're always there for ourselves. Now, <clears throat> now I invite you to connect your heart and your brain. Allow those two organs to sink, to come into coherence. Know that you have the ability to self-heal, to self-regulate, and to self-regenerate. I give you the strength and the courage to know your truth, to live your truth, and to speak your truth in a compassionate way. Now allow your heart's energy to flow through your body Feel the love and the compassion all the way down to your cells. Feel the shift in your cells for your highest good. invite your soul to be present, to feel the energetic self, allow your heart's energy to flow into your energy field. Clearing anything, any resistance, memories, emotions that are holding you back. Open the heart more. Allow yourself to expand to feel your true self. Feel your connection to Earth. Your heart and Earth's heart connected together, the core of earth. Know that you can have grounded expansion, grounded awareness. Know 
know that all those answers and the strength you're looking for is there. You are part of the energy field. You are in the field. So it's all yours. Okay, start bringing your energy back. And take some deep breaths. Feel the physical heart again. the strength and the knowledge that your heart has. And when you're ready, open your eyes. We took blood samples again after the healing session for comparison. First we will look at the client's blood cells prior to the healing session. And you can notice the tight clumping of the cells, the stacking of the cells. In this video you can notice the setup of the microscope to the left that displays the videos to the right under the two computer screens. And again, we can see the stacking of the cells, but also notice how the cells are not moving or moving very slowly. This is a photo of the cells after the healing session, and this is the video of the cells after the healing session. Notice how the cells are more separated now, not clumped like they were before, and the movement of the cells. So the movement of the cells would be the movement of the cells through our blood, through the capillaries and such. That blurriness happening right now is due to the slide being moved underneath the microscope. Uh, in addition to that, you'll notice some lighting changes and that's also the microscope trying to adjust its resolution. These are photos of the client's blood cells before and after the healing session. Notice the tight clumping on the left versus on the right after the healing session. We will now take a look at my blood cells prior to and after the healing session. We have two photos of my cells prior to the healing session. Notice the clumping, it's not quite as tight as the client's was prior to. This is a photo of my cells after the healing session. And this is a video of my cells after the healing session. So like with the client's cells, notice how the cells are further apart, not stacked like they were, and they're freer to move. This shows that not only during the session did the client receive a healing, but my cells were actually also impacted positively, and I received a healing. This is the before and after photos of my cells. We will now look at HeartMath's inner balance device and the data for this session. The inner balance device monitors the heart rate variability, which is an indication of heart brain coherence. On the left is the device that's attached to the ear, and on the right shows a cell phone that has the application the data is transferred to.
We ran the inner balance device separately for the tuning fork session and the heart access session. This is a screenshot of my cell phone that has the data for the tuning forks. You'll notice at the top there are areas of red, blue, and green that show the percentage of low, medium, and high coherence she was in. Towards the bottom are the graphs, and because this is just a screenshot, the entire graphs are not shown. For the tuning forks phase, she was in high coherence 45% of the time and low coherence about 29% of the time. For the heart access portion, the data shows that she was 75% in high coherence and 13% low coherence. So why even monitor coherence? Well, according to the director of heart math, coherence is the state when the heart, mind, and emotions are in energetic alignment and cooperation. It is a state that builds resiliency. Personal energy is accumulated, not wasted. When we are in coherence, the body is able to self-heal, improve performance, and much more. Um, for more information about the inner balance and effects of being in heart-brain coherence, you can go to heartmath.org. The data shows that the healing session improved the cell configuration and movement of the cells for both the client and myself as a healer. After the session, the cells were not as clumped and were moving significantly more than before the session. This means that the blood within our bodies was moving more freely after the healing session. When blood flows freely through our capillary beds, the body is able to receive more oxygen and nutrients and remove waste products. The inner balance indicates that the healing session also assisted in bringing the client into coherence. Coherence is often experienced as calm, balanced, and energized. Observation of the blood cells and the heart math inner balance data indicates there was a physical change in the client's body after the heart access healing session. The data also indicates that when I perform heart access healing sessions, my body is being healed. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions about this video or what I do. Remember, the strength and knowledge you seek is within you. You have the ability to heal, achieve your dreams, and more. Thank you for watching.